Arkansas State Police. Oh, I'm sorry. I, um, I'm headed north on 49, uh, right here at the Winslow exit, like the exit 45. Mm -hmm. There's a dump truck with a full load of gravel, and he's pouring gravel out the back of his tailgate. I don't know if his tailgate's open, but try to get him to stop, like get his attention. He just keeps driving, but I'm talking like a, a full steady stream of gravel coming out going down the road there's cars like dodging him off on okay. the shoulders give me and just one second sir okay well the l19 where's the vehicle at now um he's he's still behind us it's just top the hill at the exit 45 headed north, or the 45 Temporal mile marker. Temporal still with the vehicle. They're still around the 45 northbound. Yeah, it's a, a silver Kenworth dump truck with like a maroon bed on it, or like a maroon or reddish dump bed. It said Eagle, try to get a picture of it when we went by. Um, it says Temporal, it'll be a silver Eagle. dump truck with the maroon bed on the side of it. <laughs> That's okay. with Amer American Eagle something on the side of it. That's all right. I mean, you, you, you can't miss it. Behind it. Yeah, yeah, I'm in front of it. I hurried up and got around it because, like I said, it's it's like pea gravel, and it's it's you you can imagine just by being behind it looking, you mm -hmm. think it's pouring water out. It's right. coming out so much. Okay, I've got a trooper that's going to try to catch up to the dump truck, but are you guys still roughly in the area where you can see where he's at? Yeah, he's he's still behind me. We're. Uh, like the, let's see this mile marker here that I'm coming to. I mean he's he's traveling kind of slow because he's loaded, but I'm I'm passing the 47 right now headed okay. north. All right. And what kind of vehicle are you in? I'm actually in a semi myself. What can you but describe I, it? I was, what color is the cab? Oh, uh, I'm in a I'm in a white international, a small white international uh, sleeper truck. But I was I I was. Switching back and forth, different radio channels and stuff, trying to holler at the guy because mm -hmm. I mean it's just like I said, it's it's pouring out. Like 19, I'm sure I've got travel over the hood of my I'm truck. Be in front of the dump truck in a white international. Now he's uh, I'd say less than a quarter mile behind me. Ten points. Okay, let me know the next mile marker you come up on or if you come up on the 53 um, exit, okay? Uh, oh, I'm just passing the 48 right now. Okay. Thirty-seven. if I didn't advise Rogers towing some route. We're not anywhere close to getting to the 53 yet, but. No, I understand. The trooper's going to try to turn okay. around at the 50, so once you get to the 50, okay. if you could let me know. Okay. All right, I'm passing the 49 right now. Okay. Nineteen, they're passing the forty nine mile marker northbound.
The trooper's going to be in a Tahoe, so you might see him going okay. southbound, but he's going to turn around at the 50, so just let okay. me know once he, you get to that 50. Okay. I can see the 50 mile marker, but I'm not quite to it. Okay. There's uh, three Alma slow buses on the side of the road. I don't know what's going on there, but I gotcha. <laughs> They're probably pulled over with broke windshields. Um, yeah, just past the 50. Okay. So I'm sure he's probably going to cut through at the, what is it, about the 51, 52, right, where that cut through is at. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just one second. Okay, the trooper is able to see the vehicle. I'm just going to stay on the phone with you until he can turn around northbound. Okay. So we're, let's see, I'm, I'm coming up to the cut through there between the 50 and 51. Okay. Well, yeah, okay, so I'm right here at the 51. Okay. And they're still, what lane are they in the right lane? Uh, he, yeah, he's in the right lane, yeah. You guys made it to the 53 yet? Uh, no, I'm just now passing the 52. Okay. Yeah, I can see him behind me. He's the trooper. Getting close to no, the uh, the dump truck there. Okay. He's just now passing the 52. Okay. So I'm coming up on the West Fork exit or 53 right now, passing it. You don't have any damage, do you, sir? No, no, I don't. Negative. Okay. I believe he's going to be right there with the dump truck, so I'll go ahead and disconnect with you for now, okay? Okay, thank All you. Right, I appreciate thank you. it. Bye bye. Number.
pulling your entire load. spilling right here you're just throwing rocks even that's why I had to stay off of you so much that's why I had a big rock out here it was even here stopping right there it's spilling out no it's coming out right here I'm telling you it's coming out oh, this, all this yeah all this stuff right here is from the back of your truck it's spilling out right here and you're throwing a bunch of rocks all over that's why I had to stay off of you you're not gonna be able to drive it. It's because of this dent right here. It's not sealed. But then you got to get that fixed. Yeah. So you're, gonna be able to leave. you're gonna have to call somebody out here to fix it, but you can't drive it until that gets fixed. Because you're you're spilling about this wide of stuff, and all this right here is from your truck. Oh wow. Yeah, it is because I never dent. realized that. Nobody ever. Uh... But you're throwing even big rocks. Like you can come over here. You can see that it. big rock sitting in the middle of the road is the last big one he threw. Oh. So it's got to stay parked until you get somebody up here to fix it. You might call your boss or something and get somebody up here. I'm going to see if highway police wants to do anything with it, but yeah. uh, I'd give them a call, but you can't leave until I'll probably put you out of service and, until that gets fixed because you're throwing just way too much gravel. Uh L nine ten three eighty three, you're available for twenty one. CFS comments at it. Mr. Elton. Uh, 
Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, sir. This boy's got a big dent on the back side of his dump truck, and he's spilling about eight inches of gravel. And the people have been calling in on I don't know what he backed into or hit, but the back door is just not sealed. Okay. Do I just tell Where you Where are you that? at? Well, I'm northbound to 53. You ain't got to come over here. I'll deal with it. I'm just probably going to tell him he's going to be out of service till he gets it fixed because he must have backed into something yeah. just not realized it. But yeah. uh, <laughs> I just tell him to get that fixed and, uh, until he drives off and find a way to pack that hold where it doesn't leak. Yes, sir. Okay. And take his shirt off and soak his shirt up under it. Yeah, he's got like a traffic vest. Probably gonna tell him to do that. Yeah. You got the statute for spilling a load? Yeah, I'm gonna probably have to take it for it because it's pretty bad. Several people called. I had to stay like 100 feet off of him just try to pull him over because he was throwing rocks and stuff all over me. Yeah. Yeah, probably what happened is he got stuck and he pushed, tried pushing it out with track hoe. Yeah. And put the bucket on the back door and pushed it and pushed it in. Let's see. What did I just do with that? Follow that gun. Yeah, I just didn't know if anybody over here was 10 8 one the inspection on it, but I'm just going to also put him. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's nobody over there today. And hell, Rogan got promoted. He's moving a little up. So he did get that promotion? Yeah. Hell shit. And I hate it because I really don't think he's going to like it down there. Yeah, that and we lose a good one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> your radio traffic up to the 1011 was, I'm sorry. Yeah, where's Rogers doing? Yeah, because the only one over there is Rogan and, uh, now Corey, right? and Josh. Yeah, and Josh took off today. Or today's his day off. But if you need me to come over, I'll come over and take care of it. No, no, I got it. I'm just going to... Uh... I just didn't know I was going to offer up free inspection since he's got a violation. It would probably CFS work out better. Change. So. Uh, yeah. But figure out what we can do. I'm going to write and tell you because I'm sure I'll get probably a phone call or two later on to do a vehicle damage report from yeah, probably will. some of this striking in this car. Well, I just try to be generous and share the love with my always police folks. See if I need well, brother, I appreciate it. 100%. <laughs> I know you do, but I got it. What are you doing today? You can tell you the truth or lie to you. I mean, I always like the truth. All right, I'm, I'm, well, I'm on my way down here to Luke Thompson's place to see if I can get a, a truckload of rice holes. <laughs> Think he's going to help you out? Hey, but, uh, think he's going to hook you up? Yeah, they've got them down here. They put them in chicken houses. Mm -hmm. And I want to get a load to put in my garden uh, to help loosen that soil up and also it helps hold moisture in it. So, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can find a load of them. They're right here at Hilltops where they're at. So. Do you have any more of those out of service stickers? CFS type I need to get, uh, yeah. I need to get some one day for stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah, I got some. Boy, CFS type well, one day. Uh, next week I'll try to come over. 
over there and have lunch with you or something. All right, we all come on. All right, baby, I'll well, holler at you later. All right, well, be careful, brother. Let him pass, we'll get him his ticket. All right, buddy. All right. Police, they don't want to come out here. They said the best thing to do is probably try to find a shirt or something to put up underneath there. But this is all, I mean, this is definitely this whole area right here. That's where the water's coming up there. Yeah, so the problem is we had a couple people call in on it because they were throwing the rocks were throwing. Yeah, so I'm going to do a report on it just so that uh, because I'm sure there's going to be people calling in later complaining that their cars got damaged. Well, I know, I'm just saying, I'm, I might write you a ticket for spilling load because as many people called in on it as the size of rocks you were chasing. I don't know what you did to cause that dent, but obviously... I bought it like this. You bought it like that? I bought it recently. Okay, well, I mean, that's been going on for a while, so you need to get that I, I never realized it was actually leaking because, you know, and I noticed one time it was wet like this, but I was on the off-road, and I go like, I don't know why. And I never realized it was actually leaking. This is the first time they called me. I've only been doing it for a little bit. So oh, that's fine. And it's not that big a deal except for the fact that some of those larger rocks you were throwing, they bounce up, hit a windshield, they can either go through. But you know why it's kind of weird? Because the load doesn't have how big rocks. It might be from the Well, it's not big, but the, I mean, the one the one about that size that's sitting back here in the road. Oh, for real? Is that because, little black rock right there in the road? Maybe once in the slow lane. they got little rocks. Oh, okay. You see it though? I see it. If that goes and bounces up and hits the windshield, it can actually go through the windshield. Oh, yeah. So that's it's where. Bullet. Yeah, so that's where I'm worried about that. Yeah. That's why it makes it makes a sense. decidable it's offense, okay? Sense, yeah. So just call that number for that date and time. He says you're going to be out of service until you get that plugged or fixed. It's not coming out over the top though, it's only coming out right here. Okay. So if you got a way to seal can it. Can they weld it? I mean, the shop, can I take it to shop, they should be able to seal it, right? Yeah, I'm just saying before you drive off today, you're going to have to well, I can put, I can put some, uh, for some, uh, Because you can see right here where it's coming out. Oh, I see. Yeah, you need I to get something in there to where it's not going okay. to. Whether you shove your vest up in there or something, but that's got to stop. I got I got material there for I can cover it completely, shove it with my screwdriver and seal it. Okay. Um, yeah, see if you can get that worked out. So can I, can I seal it and drive it like this? You can't drive it until that gets fixed. See, what, what I'm saying, no, but you, to be able to drop the load. Drop the load later, yeah, but you can't pull off from here until you can stop that leak. Yeah, but well, I'm saying I'm gonna I'm gonna cut yeah, it. Yeah, once now. that's fixed and yeah. you get that plug, yeah, you course, can drive. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I cannot go like this. But once I go there, obviously I'm gonna drop it and I'm gonna take it to stop the Yeah, that's fine, but before you just leave the dice and spill those rocks. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely that's that's the only stipulation. Drive. Well, I really appreciate it, sir. Alright man, try Thank to have a better day, okay? Thank you. Hopefully you get it worked out.
Thirty-six County, just verifying that twenty-eight is boy X-ray boy eight zero zero. What was that expiration? Ten four. A twenty-eight of boy X-ray boy. 